Hallelujah. Welcome, welcome everyone. Welcome. Come on in, come on in to the Blessings Ministry. I'm your sister Glenda Coker. I'm here ministering, prophesying, doing the work and the will of the Lord on and offline, striving to be more like Jesus as I hope and pray we all are trying to do here on this line. We have been going through the book of Revelation and we are going to be going through the book of Revelation chapter 13 right now. So get your Bibles ready and together um, we are doing this here. If you're listening currently, um, there was no podcast Tuesday. There was no podcast Thursday. I decided to really go in deep in the study here of the book of Revelation so that I could bring it to you and explain it and break it down. So I decided to do it all here on Friday. So right here, Revelation chapter 13, we will be discussing today and about maybe keep your notifications up about three or four hours later or so revelation 14 will be coming out today as well and uh, tune in for that and so we'll we doing we are doing both of the shows tuesday and thursday today on friday and again keep your notifications up because from time to time just like now Things may, may change. Um, because we don't want to rush through this, this, um, these chapters in Revelation. We want to really, really get into it. And um, we need to understand it right now um, because it involves us right here, right now, today. Not that all the scriptures don't. But this is what we're talking about um, going into the tribulation, um, all the way until Jesus is the reign of, of Jesus Christ and so forth. So, um, we need to know what we're headed into, the things that we're going through right now. We need to stay abreast and understand. So now we're going to enter now into a prayer before we begin our studies. Dear Heavenly Father, I just humbly come to you today, Father God, to thank you for your word. Thank you for your scriptures here, Father God. Thank you for being right here in the midst of us all, Father God. Father God, may you give us the wisdom and the understanding here today to understand your scriptures, your word right here. We give you all the honor, we give you all the glory, we give you all the praise. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray this prayer, amen. Amen, amen, amen. We're going to get right into it. We're going to get right into it. Uh, Revelation chapter 1. And verse 1 says, And I stood upon the sand of the sea. And saw a beast rise up out of the sea, having seven heads and ten horns, and upon his horns ten crowns, and upon his heads the name of blasphemy. Okay, this is John speaking right here. So, um, we know, we must understand what this means right here. We're talk. we're speaking on... Um, a, a, um, a beast rise up out of the sea that had, was speaking of seven heads, ten horns, and upon his horns ten crowns, and upon his heads the name of blasphemy. So what are we talking about here? Um, what is the meaning of this? The heads and the horns and the crowns and so forth. So 
The seven heads right here, they represent mountains. Mountains represent kingdoms. And we know every kingdom, the kingdoms have kings. And the kings have horns. So the horns, the kings represent the horns. The heads represent the kingdom. So basically, the heads here and the horns were speaking about kingdoms and kings okay and we know kings have crowns upon their head so and the the name of blasphemy that's speaking about the antichrist so this is what we're talking about right here the kings and the kingdoms this is the representation right here of the beast Okay, verse 2 right here says, And the beast which I saw was like unto a leopard, and his feet were as the feet of a bear, and his mouth as the mouth of a lion. And the dragon gave him his power, and his seat, and great authority. Okay, so now we're, the, here the scripture is describing um, what the beast looked like. He, he looked like unto a leopard, a leopard, okay, and he talks about his feet, they look like a bear, and his mouth like a lion, okay, and the dragon gave him power, and his seat, and great authority, well, we know that the dragon is Satan, the devil, so now we go into what the lion, the leopard, and the bear means okay the lion the lion here is a, represents a kingdom the first kingdom the lion represents babylon the bear the second kingdom represents persia and the third kingdom the leopard represents greece now there's a a, a fourth kingdom doesn't speak of it right here now but there's a fourth kingdom that kingdom is is rome Okay, and, and Rome is more fierce than all the other kingdoms. Okay, but this is what we're talking about again. We're talking about kingdoms and kings. We're talking about the, the tribulation here going on and the rule, the kingdoms, the rule that Satan, the devil himself, is going to be ruling. This is what we're talking about. Okay, verse 3 says, and I saw one of his heads as if it were wounded to death. And his deadly wound was healed. And all the world wondered after the beast. All right. So this is talking about the rise and the fall of the Antichrist. Things are going to happen. It's going to be a rise and a fall. It's going to be... Um, uh, 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 fighting and things like that and and it's going to be a rising up until we know in the end this kingdom will fold so this is what we're talking about the antichrist being slain and then returned again you know the rise and the fall of what's going to be going on back and forth all right verse four and they worshipped the, the dragon, which gave power unto the beast. So they worshipped Satan. And, and, and they gave power. They gave power to the beast. This going on right here. This, this, this kingdom right here. All these kingdoms giving power. Okay. And they worshipped they, they worship the beast, saying... Who is like unto the beast? Who is able to make war with him? Verse 5. And there was given unto him a mouth speaking great things and blasphemies. And power was given unto him to continue forty and two months. Okay, forty and two months. We're talking about the tribulation here. This is all happening in the tribulation. The 40 and 2 months is the first three and a half years 
of the tribulation. We're going, we know that the tribulation is seven years. And then the final three and a half is called the great tribulation. So this is what it's talking about. The 40 and two months. Verse six here says, and he opened his mouth and blasphemy against God to blaspheme his name and his tabernacle and them that dwell in heaven. This is the beast. This is the kingdoms and the dragon, Satan, Satan, the devil. All right. Verse seven. And it was given unto him to make war with the saints and to overcome them and Power was given him over all kindreds and tongues and nations. Now, who are the saints that are going to be left down here in this tribulation? Because you may say, oh, I thought that we will be raptured up. But there are going to be some saints down here. And this is going to be a speaking of the 144,000. And, and it's the, the, that's the saints here. And also speaks of in this scripture two witnesses. Two witnesses who are going to die, who's going to die a violent death, going around speaking the word of the Lord and trying to get people that are down here, that are left in the tribulation to come on in, come on in to the kingdom. You still have time in the tribulation. I know it's not talked about, but you still do. But you definitely, it's going to be a lot, a lot of opposition because um, the Holy Spirit or anything, nothing's going to be left down here and Satan's going to be unleashed. There's going to be full reign. So we want to be raptured up with the Lord. Amen. But if people are down here because maybe the word, there's going to be some people still that have not fully heard the word yet or understand. So there are going to be some people, a small number that are going to turn their lives around during this tribulation. So we're going to have 144,000 saints, saints, the Jews that are going to go around and they are not going to be harmed. And the, the, the two witnesses. Read Revelation chapter 11 verse 3. We don't have time to get into that right here right now. But that's what this verse is speaking on. Uh, verse 7 here when it speaks about the saints. Okay reading starting with verse 8 here. And all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him. Whose names, whose names are not written in the book of life of the Lamb, slain for the foundation of the world. Okay, so again, all, and all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him. Whose names are not written in the book of life of the Lamb, slain from the foundation of the world. All right, so this is going on right here. This is going on right here. And... So far, everyone here, this is the state that they're in right here, right now. Okay. And so again, they're making war, going to make war with the saints. All right. Verse 9. If anyone have an ear, let him hear. Amen. Self, self, explanatory, giving a warning to, to everyone right here, right now, today, Understand what's going on. Understand. Understand. All right. All right. Heed the call. Heed the call. Stay for the endurance of faith. Heed the call. All right. Verse 10. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. So, heed the call right here. All that's going on, all the killing, taking into captivity, and all of this is telling you right here, the saints to have patience. To have patience, because this is going to be going, this is going on, um, the first three and a half, then three and a half more years, the, the total of seven years. Okay, verse 11. And I beheld another beast coming up 
out of the earth and he had two horns like a lamb and he spake as a dragon okay this is gonna be um the false messiah that deceives his followers and is trying to assume the role of jesus christ himself all right verse 12 and he exerciseth all the power of the first beast before him and causeth the earth causes the earth and them which dwell therein to worship the first beast whose deadly wound was healed healed worship the antichrist all this is satan the devil satan the devil see that we're talking about two beasts right here now and they're they're partners in evil and they're receiving their power from the dragon satan himself two both of these beasts definitely they they are the antichrist antichrist people uh, uh um both are against against christ and working for the devil amen all right come on here now we're going to read verse 13 hallelujah glory to god but we know that god is going to prevail hallelujah verse 13 and he doeth great wonders so that he maketh fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men so he's going to be doing all type of magical tricks and making fire come down in front of people and everything he's really going to be putting on a show to convince people that he is the messiah and deceive if verse 14 and deceive if them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast which had the wound by a sword and did live so now we're talking about idolatry and making images and so forth reading along verse 15 and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed so it's kind of like gonna be like shadrach shadrach meshach and abednego worshiping this image building this image and 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 with powers of supernatural powers or so forth whatever it was fake technology or whatever the this thing here is going to be speaking and 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 this devil the devil satan the devil wants you to bend down and worship worship this 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 idolatrous thing okay and he causes all both small and great rich and poor free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads okay so let's read let's let's go on We're talking about the mark here and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number the number of his name so you're gonna have to be marked you're gonna have to be marked down here because you're not gonna be able to buy anything anything's not gonna be able to be sold or anything you're gonna have to take the mark of the beast not gonna have to you can you can refuse you can refuse but this is what's going to be happening down here that mark the mark of the beast so you're not going to be able to buy or sell or anything verse 18 here is wisdom here is wisdom let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast for it is the number of a man and his number is six hundred three score and six so we know that that is the devil six 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 and we know that the number seven is a number of completion this falls short of the number of completion this is six 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 so this is verses one through 18 i went through it a little fast but i wanted to make sure that i had time to to really go through and explain um and 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 don't 
go past 30 minutes here. But um, this is what's going to be happening right here. And see, unless you take that mark of the beast, you see, now, God seals everyone. Now, this is an outside, this is an outside thing. This is outside sealing. This is, this is an outside marking. The marking the, on, on your hand and, and all your foreheads. This is outside marking. But God seals all. All who trust in his son as savior. He places by placing the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is within us. That is the seal. That is the seal that designates us that we are belonging believers of God. This is this is internal. This is internal. Now I know the Bible speaks about the mark um, on our foreheads. But this right here we're speaking of this right here we're speaking of here in Revelation. This is satanic. So we don't want to be down here with all of this going going on amen amen so all of this they're going to be building it's going to be idolatry going on in everything so we want to heed that call and 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 we want to continue right now today to stay close to the Heavenly Father. And I, I encourage you to reread, I mean, replay this back, download this, and, and, and do some more research if you have to, and, and play this over and over again to understand this is what's going to be going on. Now, it speaks about, again, the seven heads here. And what are the seven heads? We have Egypt, we have Assyria, Babylon, Persia, Greece, Rome. And then it, it speaks about we have Hitler's, the Hitler's Nazi regime, which has already happened. So that's tied in here with the seven heads. Okay, then, I mean, we were talking about Babylon. We were talking about Persia. We were talking about Greece. And that all ties in because um, the the media, uh, Medo Persia, the the Medes and the Persians conquered Babylon, and the Greeks conquered Persia. So all of this, basically, to sum it up, we're talking about the kingdom of Satan, the devil himself, and we're talking about all of this warring against Rome, against Greece, Babylon, all of this warring. The dragon, Satan, the devil, the Antichrist, the Christ, just, just, just everything. Blasphemy, all of that, the wound, the rising and falling of all this confusion and stuff that's going to be going on down here in, in the tribulation. In the tribulation. And so now we're going to get more into it. In Revelation chapter 14. And um, tune on in and um, keep your notifications up. I'll, I'll, I'll bring that out about, um, I don't know, maybe about 4 or 5 p.m. Um, so keep your notifications up. And it gets deeper and it gets deeper. So... I pray that you got something out of this. I pray that you got the understanding out of this. And um, what these symbols, what this means, what John saw, and what it means for us today. Hallelujah. We're going to end now in prayer. Most merciful, wonderful, gracious Father. Father, Father God, we come to you, Father God, and we thank you for your word. We thank you, Father God, for your warning, for 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 your your heed, to, for us to heed, Father God, and understand what's going on, what's going on, and what will be going on in the future, and your tribulation, and on and on and on. So, Father God, I pray that everyone here receives a special blessing. I pray that everyone's 
everyone here their name is on the book of life and i pray father god that everyone's ears were open father god their hearts were open to the understanding of your word right here that we've delved into in the book of revelation father god may we go forward and continue spreading spreading your word father god sounding the horn letting everyone know what's going on that Jesus, your son, will be returning soon. We thank you, Father. We thank you for your love, your grace, Father God. We know that, Father God, you are a God of integrity. We know that you do not go back on your word. What you say, what you say, Father God, so it shall be. And so we pray, Father God, I pray again, 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 that everyone, Father God, is saved and a special blessing for them. And again, may they go out and spread the word far and wide and stay in prayer. Hallelujah. Glory, glory to your name. And so we give you all the honor. We give you all the praise, Father God. We give you all the thanks. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Amen, 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 amen. Brothers and sisters, this is wonderful. This is wonderful. Download this show, download this show, and um, keep it in your archives, play it back, um, because it's it's no joke. We know that this is going to happen. We want to stay and be on the side right along with Jesus Christ when he comes to that cloud. And he uh, awakens the dead first. The dead in Christ, the dead saints, and they go up. Then anyone here that is alive, there was a saint that go up. 144,002 witnesses down here on the earth. They must have that patience that they have a job to do. But they will not be harmed. But the devil will be unleashed. Satan, the devil, and his kingdom will be unleashed. So any and everything goes tricks showing out the fires to this to that everything so stay prayed up and continue to spread the word and do the work in the will of the lord amen amen so look out for revelation chapter 14 and uh take care this is not to scare anybody or anything this is in the scriptures and the lord is is lovingly Giving us the heed, giving us the warning, giving us the call. Okay. Take care. Now see you on um, Revelation chapter 14 in a couple hours. Take care and go in peace.